Hey there and welcome back to another Spot the Difference video. So in these Spot the Different videos I take a couple of minutes to explain some complicated or misunderstood words or phrases to help you use them in a more natural way when you're speaking in English. Today we're going to be looking at bring and take and these are often very confused especially if you're a romance language speaker because often these two concepts are usually one verb in Italian and French and Spanish and languages like that as well as many other languages. So the important thing here is both of these are related to uh, moving an object or a thing or a person as well from one place to another place. The real key difference here is the direction you're moving in, in relation to, to you or in relation to somebody that you're concentrating your argument or your discussion on. So the best way to break this down is if you go somewhere, you take something. If you come somewhere, you bring something. And that's the real key difference. If you think in this case come is moving towards the speaker or towards the person you are discussing, because it doesn't always have to be you. and Go is when you're moving away from the speaker or the subject of, of your idea. So in this case, that really is the key breakdown of take and bring when you're thinking about moving things. So for example, let's imagine that I have a pet who's really sick. So I call the vet and I say, oh, vet, 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 I've got, I've got a real problem. My cat's really, really sick. The doctor, would, the, the vet in this case, would say, no problem. Come to my surgery and bring your cat. And I say, perfect, no problem, brilliant, brilliant. And then I would go to talk to my wife and I would say, I need to go to the vet and take the cat. So in this case, the action is exactly the same that we're describing. It's just about the direction that I'm focusing on. So really the best way if you're trying to decide between those two is deciding, are you going somewhere or are you coming somewhere? And then in that case, you should always know if you go, it's take, if you come, it's bring. And there we have it. That's the difference between these very complicated uh, or very easily confused words. And your challenge for today, as always with these Spot the Difference videos, is I would like you to write two sentences in the comments um, using each of these words. So take and bring, and then I can give you some comments and corrections and see how you're using them yourself. So have a great day, have fun learning English, and I'll see you next time for some more English fun.